with multiplexers and comparators. Now let's look at the multiplexer. It's under plexers and click multiplexers and here and uh, here you can select the select uh, you can choose the select bits it's based on uh, based on the select bits you are going to have the inputs like if you have one select bit that's two power one two inputs that's what we have right here if you put three that's two power three eight inputs so i'm going to put it three right here um, and you can select as uh, whatever you want like two power two two power three anything you want so here i select two power three eight inputs and uh, let's put some inputs like let's put eight inputs first one and i'm going to copy paste these inputs second third and then fourth one fifth one And then sixth one. And then seventh one. And then eight. Okay, now we have eight inputs. Okay. Um, hmm. So let's select an output. For output, I'm going to choose an LED. So whenever it turns on, it's going to have a light. I can set the color of the light as well. Uh, when it's on, I can let's set this one to be green. So if something is on, it's going to turn into green. But uh, I still have to put input for this one. The input is based on the select bits we have put. So here we select our select bit is three so the input should be three bits but if you put other bits like for example now i have one bit if you connect this one the wire is going to be orange so that means it doesn't work so i put three and then input is three right now okay so now we can choose something okay at one it's on right because I selected the one over here. Like that, let's put some ones here. One, 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 something like that. So, this is a 3-bit binary number. So, 0, 0, 0, that's 0, this location. 0, 0, 1, that, uh, that time is turned off. And then 0, 0, 1, 0 is turned on. And then 0, 0, 1, 1 is turned off. Zero, zero, uh, next one is 1, 0, 0. It's turned on. 101 is turned off one uh 110 it's turned off 110 actually it's turned on and then 111 is turned off so that's how it works and that's basically it the you can't control which output you're getting by using the inputs like this okay <clears throat> now the next thing is we are going to see the comparator comparator uh, it's under arithmetic logic units if you study programming you will know that if statement so comparator acts like an if statement if statement compare and print out whatever the value is true this does exactly the same thing now let's make this one into four bit and let's compare two four bit numbers so here i'm gonna set this one to four bit number four bit input and then copy paste and we have two four bits inputs and we're going to compare and give an output for the output uh, i'm going to use this led matrix and i'm going to select this one to be three columns and then um maybe one row yeah three columns and one row collect this one to this and this one to the middle and then this one to this well, whichever the statement is true it's gonna have a green 
uh, green value for it so here it's comparing these two numbers and if it's if this number is greater than this it's going to have a green right here if this okay if these two okay if these two are all, uh, equal uh, this is going to have a green right here because here we have equal and then if th this one is less than this we are going to have a green right here so let's check whether it's true so if we put a one here this number is greater than this so it's having a green right here if i put a bigger number in the down it's going to be a green right here because this one is bigger than this right like the, if you both of them are equal it should be in the middle right so that's the comparator basically is compare two numbers and give the output based on that and that's basically it for this video i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video